one, Samantha here. I pray all is well with you. And today, this video is um, my Berean chat video. And we'll be um, reading Ephesians 1 through 1, chapter 1, verses 15 through 23. And focusing on um, prayerful thanksgiving in this section so um before we start i'm gonna say a word of prayer and then get right into it thank you lord oh lord thank you father god we just come to you in the name of jesus humbly but boldly before your throne of grace lord god thank you for this day lord god thank you for you your mercy your grace your love for forgiveness of sins for your tender kindness towards us oh god in the name of jesus Lord God, I ask that you forgive each and every one of us for the sins that we've committed against you today, the sins we know of and the sins we don't know of. We thank you, Lord God, that when we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We thank you, Lord God, that you will continue to be, um, continue the good work you began in us to your praise, honor, and glory, conforming us into the image of your dear son, Jesus Christ. We are your workmanship and we thank you, Lord God. Thank you for your precious promises and that every promise in you is yea and amen. We thank you, Lord God, as you read your word. Your word is life. Your word is healing. And Lord God, you will make your word rhema to us, O God, and you will bring forth the 100 fold, O God, of your word in our lives, O God, that we not that we not just be hearers of your word, but livers of it, doers of it as well. And we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. We thank you for your Holy Spirit that guides us and leads us into all truth and that gives us understanding of your word. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. So going right into Ephesians chapter 1 verses 15 to 23. I'm going to read it through and then come back and share um, what the Lord placed on my heart. And uh, maybe I'll say a question or two as the Lord gives me. So if someone wants to answer the question, you know, in their personal life or even just leave a comment as such, um, it can, there can be some dialogue. So however the Lord sees fit. So prayerful Thanksgiving verse 15. Wherefore, Paul, talking to the Ephesians and the faithful saints in Christ, I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and love unto all the saints, cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us world who believe according to the working of his mighty power, which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places, far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come and have put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him that filleth all in all. Amen. Okay, so going back to verse 15 and 16, we see that Paul wrote here that after he heard of their faith in the Lord Jesus and their love unto all the saints, um, the faithful in Christ in the church, the Ephesians, that he ceased not to give thanks for them. He says, I cease not to give thanks for you. 
And what the Lord spoke to my heart is to um, be mindful to give thanks for the body of Christ. And um, that's something we know that God wants us to, um, how can I say, C continually be mindful of because we are a blessing to each other um we need each other there's a scripture in first i believe it's in first corinthians where it says the hand can't say to the leg i don't need you you know i'm paraphrasing you know what let's just go there because you know uh lord he oh i'm so sorry i'm in the wrong section i believe it's in first corinthians 12 I believe, I believe it's there. Okay, let's see. Okay, yeah. So, right here, starting in chapter 12, verse 14. For the body for the body is not one member, but many. If the foot shall say, because I am not the hand, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? And if the ear shall say, because I am not the eye, I am not of the body. Is it therefore not of the body? If the whole body were an eye, where were the hearing? And if the whole were hearing, where were the smelling? But now have God set the members, every one of them, in the body as it hath pleased him. And if they were all one member, what were the body? But now are they many members, yet but one body. And the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee. Nor again the head to the feet, I have no need of you. Nay, much more those members of the body which seem to be more feeble are necessary. And those members of the body which we think to be less honorable, upon these will bestow more abundant honor. And our uncommonly parts have more abundant calmness. For our comely parts have no need, but God hath tempered the body together, having given more abundant honor to that part which lacked, that there should be no schism in the body, but that the members should have the same care one for another. God is so good because I did have no intention of reading that, but you know, that's what the Holy Spirit does. He'll bring something to our remembrance while we're reading his word. And I studied this before I got on here. But cease not to give thanks for you. And so, yeah, being thankful for the body of Christ because we do need each other. And the part that really stick out to me every time I read 1 Corinthians 12, 14, that whole section going on to what, um, that was 12, 14 through... Um, 12, 14 through, um, 25, what usually sticks out to me is that, um, verse 22, name much more those members of the body will seem to be more feeble or necessary. So it doesn't matter, um. If another brother or sister is struggling, struggling in Christ, God is saying, yeah, even though they may seem more feeble, they are even necessary. So we are all important in the body of Christ. And if you think about it, it makes sense what Paul is saying in here, what God inspired him to say. Because if there was a part of my body that was hurting, I wouldn't just be like, whatever. I would start praying for it to be healed and I wouldn't want to be discomforted. So I wouldn't be like, you know what? My leg is acting up. So away with you, you know, um, and, um, we're, so, you know, it's, God made that analogy to the body of Christ, the parts that seem less calmly and feeble are necessary. So yeah, to give thanks for one another in the body of Christ, um, my heart is um pretty t is 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 really touched right now um it's something to really reflect on um making mention of you in my prayers and um yeah yeah giving thanks for one another and praying for one another praying for each other in the body of Christ um is very very important and um i don't know i am um, let me see what 
Thank you, Jesus. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, I just want to thank you right now for the body of Christ, Lord. Lord God, thank you for my brothers and sisters in Christ, Lord God. I know we don't um, always get along like we should, but you said how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. And Lord God, I just pray for myself right now and anyone, Lord God, that's under the sound of your voice through me, Lord God, that you help us to walk in unity with the brethren, Lord God, that we will not bring division, schism, strife, discord in any way, shape, form, or fashion, that we will not operate as the accuser of the brethren in any way, shape, form, or fashion, oh God, that we will give thanks for one another, and when we see one another in error, oh God, that we will not talk about one another, that we will not gossip about one another, but Lord God, that we will truly and earnestly and fervently, Lord God, intercede for one another. Lord God, when there needs to be correction, oh God, let us do it, Lord God, in meekness, considering ourselves, lest we also be tempted, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Your words that by this our mind shall know that we are your disciples when we have love one for another. Lord God, we are not to tolerate sin, oh God, we are not to dismiss it, but Lord God, help us to speak out against it in a loving way for your word says speak the word in truth oh god help us not to embarrass and humiliate each other oh god if someone needs to be marked or if someone needs to be exposed oh god let it be done oh god with your protocol oh god and if we don't know what that is oh god teach us oh god in the name of jesus oh god thank you for the body of christ oh god Lord God, we pray for the local churches, O oh God. We pray for the members in every local church, O oh God. Hallelujah. Help us all to work together in unity, O oh God, for your praise, honor, and glory, O oh God. When it needs to where it needs to be, um, Lord God, when we need to agree to disagree, O oh God, let that be, O oh God, knowing that we have to respect each other's preferences, O oh God, and and um Lord God, um things that we may like. Oh God, or things we may not dislike as long, oh God, is it is not a doctrinal error, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Lord God, just do just do what you want to do, oh God, in us and through us, oh God. In the name of Jesus, working together for your praise, for your honor, for your glory, oh God, that Others may see your love in us, may see your love through us, may see us loving you and loving one another, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. I ask, oh God, that you forgive us, oh God, for any division that we're working, working in or operating in or strife or schism or discord or disunity, oh God, anything that's not of you, oh God, that we may be doing to each other, oh God, forgive us, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. And Lord God, help us to intercede when we see something wrong. Lord God, even Lord God, those that are in prominent positions, oh God, that are in the media that people see and people know, oh God, Lord God, where they need to, sin needs to be exposed, oh God, let it be done in a way that you want it to be done and let, let them come to repentance in the name of Jesus, Lord God, but let them not be bashing, oh God, and this stuff, Lord God, that you know that hurts your heart, oh God. Help us, oh God. Just help us, oh God. Help us, oh God. Help us, oh God. Help us, Lord God, to know, Lord God, even though we may not know these people, oh God, it doesn't mean that we can't intercede, oh God. Help us to intercede with love, oh God, knowing that we are one. We are one. We are one. We are one. So, Lord God, we cannot lift up our heads in pride and say, look at them. And I am, I'm not doing that. And I'm tithing. And I'm doing this. And I'm doing that. Oh, God. No. We beat ourselves on the chest and we say, have mercy. Have mercy on all of us, oh, God. Because we all need your mercy. We all need your grace, oh, God. Help us, Father God. Help us not to be puffed up, oh God, because knowledge puffs up, oh God, but your love covers, Father God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. 
No more gossip, no more slander, no more rumors, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Put a watchman at the door of our heart, oh God. Cleanse our heart of these things, Father God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Help us not to have an evil, dark eye, oh God, but let our eyes be full of light, oh God. In the name of Jesus, let us be passionate about interceding for one another, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. And Lord God, if we know, oh God, we are angry, and we know, oh God, that our heart is not right at that moment, oh God, and we want to say something. Something that's not of you. Help us to repent, oh God, and help us to keep our mouth closed until we're right, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. And Lord God, if the enemy tries to put demonic thoughts and wicked thoughts in our mind about one another, oh God, we pray, oh God, for your strength to cast it down right now in the name of Jesus, Father God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we will not operate as tell bearers and false witnesses, Father God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, by the power of your Holy Spirit, Father God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. We thank you. Cover us in your blood, oh God. Cover us in your blood, oh God. Cover us in your blood, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Hallelujah, oh God. We give thanks right now. Right now we give thanks, oh God. Thank you for the body of Christ. Thank you, oh God, for the body of Christ. Thank you, God, for the body of Christ, oh God. Those that are struggling in their walk, oh God, right now in the name of Jesus, we pray your healing. We pray your victory. We pray deliverance right now in the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, oh God. Oh God, comfort, oh God, let them to know, let us to know how much you love us, oh God, that you are with us, oh God, we have the victory in you, oh God, you always cause us to triumph in you, Father God, in the name of Jesus, oh God undergird uplift oh god strengthen the feeble knees oh god in the name of jesus oh god the blood of jesus oh god by the power of your holy ghost father god in the name of jesus oh god release your anointing right now in the name of jesus father god we thank you oh god thy kingdom come thy will be done father god in the name of jesus in your church oh god hallelujah oh god Silence the voice of the enemy that will speak lies to us to about one another in the name of Jesus, O oh God. Let your voice be louder, O oh God. Your love, O oh God. They say live out loud. We say love out loud, love out loud, love out loud right now in the name of Jesus. Love out loud in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We will not operate as wicked foes towards one another in the name of Jesus. The devil is a liar, O oh God. Let God be true and every man a liar, O oh God. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered in the name of Jesus, Father God. In the name of Jesus. By your spirit, O oh God. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Draw us all closer to you, O oh God. Help us to read your word. Help us to seek your face. Let us humble ourselves and turn from our wicked ways, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, O oh God uplift one another encourage one another in the lord oh god in you lord jesus singing praises to you god making melody in our hearts oh god encouraging each encouraging each other in your word father god and we thank you oh god we thank you oh god working together for you oh god working together for you by the power of your holy spirit and your anointing oh god hallelujah let god arise hallelujah we thank you lord and we give you all the praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Well, that's it. I will be back in another video for verses 17 through 23. I really thought that's what the Lord was going to have me cover all tonight. Because that's what I studied. But the Holy Spirit, um, he laid it on my heart to focus. Just stay right there with verse 17 and to, to pray right there so going forward next time god willing we'll go into the prayer request that paul have listed that um that's listed here in ephesians uh that paul made for the faithful in christ and the church of ephesus church of ephesians um those are the ephesians all right um i'm gonna get that correct um for the saints which are at ephesus Okay, not just the church of Ephesus, but the saints that are at Ephesus and to the faithful in Christ Jesus. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching. God bless you. And remember, Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.